It feels so good to get back to Adelaide, South Australia. This is a part of the world where I lived for about two years of my life. And while I was here, I did a master's degree in wine business, so I know the wines are good. Now, over my stay, I got into a show called MasterChef. One of their former judges was named Matt Moran, who's actually one of Australia's top celebrity chefs, and he decided to come into Adelaide to go on a wine adventure with me. Yeah. That's good, Colin. Yeah. How are you going, buddy? You well? Yeah, good, nice good. Yeah. Thanks for coming down. Pleasure. How was the flight? It was pretty good, actually. Um, some headwinds, which made it a bit rough, but, you know. A bit rough? It's good. Might, might be a bit, a bit more rough on the next flight we're going on. <laughs> small plane out here? Yeah, it's a bit of a small plane, yeah. but uh, it's going to take us over to Kangaroo Island, a small yeah, wine right. region there. She's small. Oh, <laughs> yes, she is. There we go. Going to Kangaroo Island, going on a food journey, you know, it's, it's pretty it's pretty wild, you know, um, not only for its food, but, you know, to, to see wineries and, and hang out with Colin, you know, he's got amazing wine knowledge, so he says, and, uh, you know, with my food knowledge, we should have a bit of fun. I'm just a bit concerned about his cook-off skills, you know, he, uh, I don't think he knows a lot about food. Anyway, we'll see. Hello. 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 Hey, buddy. Good to meet you. Good to see you. Great to see you. Welcome yeah. to Kangaroo Island. So Matt and I have just landed in Kangaroo Island, and we've taken off with Tony Nolan from KI Culinary Adventures to head down to False Cape Vineyards, which is owned by Greg Follett from Lake Breeze Winery in Langhorne Creek. So they make some really good wines up here on Kangaroo Island, and it's a developing wine region, and we're about to catch up with them. And given that the weather is so beautiful, it's the middle of fall, and I think he's out pruning in the vineyard. One of the main strengths we have here at Lake Breeze is the age of our vines. So we've had 100, 120 years of grape growing now and it's, you know, it's nice to know that my great grandfather you know, first planted the vines on the property here. We're solely family owned, family run. Langon Creek really has a lot of unique qualities but the two main, two main features I suppose would be the floodplain that, that we're on which obviously is the soil type. Um, and the ability, ability we have to flood the vineyards, which is a really unique thing we have. And also the prevailing breezes which come off the Southern Ocean across Lake Alexandrina. So yeah, being nestled in this little zone between the Adelaide Hills and Lake Alexandrina is, you know, creates its own little, little climate. Really, the reason we decided to, to make wine on Kangaroo Island was a fantastic uh, north facing slope with uh, terra rossa soil over limestone which is ideal for Cabernet Sauvignon and we're producing a style that's a little bit more elegant, it's lovely perfume. Working hard by the looks of it. Well we are, we are. It's a lot of pruning to be done, a lot of pruning to be done. We've got the whole site along here to get through and I don't know just whether the we beginning. have to do all that though do we? Well, maybe, do you need any well, help? Well funny you should mention that <laughs> because <laughs> I do happen uh, to have a couple of pairs uh, of snips here. <laughs> so what the idea is, where you see, yes, this one here, is to, is to sneak that off, but in, a, in an area like this where we have last year's growth, yeah. we want to cut one off yep. and then leave, leave a two spur there. Now the main idea behind pruning is that during the months of spring and winter after vintage has occurred, you can head out into your vineyard and begin to cut away the excess parts of the vine that aren't needed for next year's growth. When you do this, you maintain a balance between the vegetative growth of your vines as well as the fruit growth of your vines. And in doing so, you're controlling the quantity of bunches you produce while also maximizing the quality of your wine grapes. So guys, this is a lot of fun and I'm learning how to do it, but um, what are the plans for the rest of the day? Now that Matt and I have gotten our hands dirty pruning and met up with Greg at Falscape Vineyards, I thought it would be a good idea for the three of us to get out into the region and see what kind of food we could get our hands on before the evening came around. Hey guys, welcome. How you going? Alright, we're Fantastic. ready for a bit of a dive. Okay, so we're going to nice head out to a place view, called um, <laughs> North Cape, which is about a 20 minute boat right away from here. We'll gear you up and then we'll get going. Quite a dolphins in front of us. Is this where we're diving? Or? Nice. 
we found a pocket and there might be some crayfish and some abalone down under the water here. Hopefully no sharks because the only thing I've ever heard about abalone diving is how dangerous it is. Fingers crossed we can get something to, for Matt and Colin to, to cook up for me tonight. And yeah, really, really looking forward to it. Hopefully there's no other big predators here today, but if there is, they'll go for Colin or Matt over me. Everyone's been talking about sharks the past two days, but it's what I do. Just do stupid things and try not to kill myself, so I'm gonna go diving. Bloody good afternoon getting down there with Matt and Greg and getting to go off and harvest some food in Kangaroo Island and doing it with a chef and a winemaker. It doesn't really get much better than that. I loved it. Loved it. Man, how good was that? That, that is, as a chef, one of the highlights, going down there, getting a lobster, letting a few get away accidentally and getting a couple of abalone to cook for tomorrow lunch. I'll tell you what, I'll cook the lobster with Colin, but there's no way he's getting my abalone. I'm so glad we actually caught something. I was a little, a little afraid for a while, but we've got something to cook tonight and I'm really looking forward to Matt and a little bit Colin cooking, cooking something up for me tonight to enjoy with some fantastic false cape and Lake Breeze wines. It was an experience of a lifetime being able to go scuba diving and harvest some fresh wild lobster with Matt Moran and Greg. And now, we're back at the cabin and we're about to start a cook-off and Greg's had a bit of a surprise for us and he's had Tony line up quite a bit of local produce, some herbs, some oils from Ferguson's and so much food that we couldn't imagine it. Now, I've got to try and cook with Matt Moran. I'm a bit nervous to how I'll do, but I'm hoping that he can teach me a few things. So it looks like we need to cook up some lobster. <laughs> well, I'm going to definitely cook up some lobster, you know. How are you going to do yours? I saw that throwing it on the barbecue and splitting it with some kind of butter mm. sauce, maybe some <laughs> leaven, garlic. I saw one with wine that I like. So this is a bit of the brain. Yeah. How fresh is that? It is too good. Okay. I'll do more of an Asian, you know, sort of influence. Um. And you've got to be careful because it's still delicate meat. So I'm just going to cut this into, into little cubes and do like more of a, a dipping entree thing. It's the best lobster I've had today so far. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm thinking of using some of the, the beautiful ingredients over there, making some salads. And uh, by the time I do all that, you'll still be fluffing around with your, your lobster. Of course I will. <laughs> Outside, after you, chef. Well, mate, I've done my lobster dish. This is now up to, up to uh, young Colin to, to show his wares. I think I'll put it on and, and watch And just watch? It. Yeah. <laughs> mate, I'm just going to help you here. All right. Look at that. Oh. Kangaroo Island lobster, freshly caught, killed. Oh, it's gonna be delicious. Let's eat. Can no. I have a little Pinot Grigio, please? Yes. Thank is, you, uh, man. This is from the False Cape Vineyard, Kangaroo Island. Yep. You know, pristine, really fresh, vibrant. Love the aromatics. I'm not gonna say it's any better than the barbecued one. There's no winner today. It's just so clean and fresh. Well, I figured a bit of adventure, mm. a bit of culinary arts, mm. a bit of winemaking, not a bad combination, Please guys. I'll drink to that, guys. <laughs> Cheers, huh? I'll drink to that, too. Cheers. Woo! Cheers. baby, love been down. Despite how absolutely beautiful the entire island of Tasmania is, I had to focus on one area, and I decided to go further north towards Launceston, Tasmania. So we decided to have a bit of an outdoors Tassie adventure. Fish? No. 
gonna go chuck myself off a 140 meter or about 380 to 400 feet of a dam and do an abseil. I'm not gonna look down. No. Oh my gosh, I just looked.